Look up, look down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. You'll see us in a building. You'll find us in a wall, sitting side by side and row on row. We come in different colours. Some are yellow, some are red, or brown, or white. What are we? Do you know? We're bricks. Hello, my dears. I'm doing some building today. Filling up a hole in the wall with some new bricks. This is my mortar. It's made of sand, cement, and water. It'll dry like glue does and hold the bricks together. Oh, look! Pippin's building a wall too. <laughs> the bricks are making. They don't sit one above the other, like this. They sit in between, like this. That makes the wall much stronger. Oh, I've only got one brick left. I didn't buy enough. How silly. Well, we just have to go and buy some more. Pippin! It's time to fly! Can you see the digger? It's digging clay out of the ground and putting it on the back of that lorry. There goes the lorry. It's taking the clay to a factory. It looks like a toy from up here, doesn't it? There's the factory. And that's where we're going. Because this is where they use the clay to make bricks. First of all, the clay is crushed into small pieces by two giant wheels. It travels on through some more crushes and then it's mixed with water. This makes the clay soft. Now it's ready to use. They roll the clay in some sand and sawdust so it isn't too sticky. Then it's put in a brick-shaped box 
called a mould. A strip of wire scrapes off the top. They're tipped out of their moulds and there are the bricks. But they're not finished yet. Sometimes they make bricks by hand. Would you like to have a go, Auntie Mabel? Oh, yes, please. Take some clay, roll it in the sand and sawdust. Into the mould. Slice off the top. And there's the brick. But it isn't finished yet. What? What's the matter? Thank you, Pippin. But I have been making a brick. Of course, making bricks one by one takes a very long time. There's a machine here which can do the job much faster. It does it by making one long bar of clay. Then, wire cutters cut it up into bricks. But they're not finished yet. All the bricks must go into the dryer. They'll stay in the dryer for several days. Then they all go into the kiln. It's like a very hot oven. Look! You can see the fire burning inside. Being baked in a kiln makes the bricks hard and strong. And now they're all finished. These are the bricks I'm having to finish building my wall. I think they're just the right colour. Pippin, stop it! You'll break your teeth. They're much too heavy to carry. They'll be delivered to our house on a lorry. Most of these bricks are going to building sites. There's one not far from here where they're building houses. We'll go and have a look. Now, Pippin, stay close by my side. This is a very dangerous place. Hello. Houses usually have two walls. One on the inside, made of concrete blocks, and one on the outside, made of bricks. And the air in the space between them helps to keep the house warm in the winter and cool in the summer. It's the bricklayer's job to build the walls. Can I have a go? You might. I've always wanted to build a house. This reminds me of the three little pigs. The first little pig built a house of straw With a chimney, a window and a little red door A hungry wolf came prowling through the town Up and up and he blew the house down Help, help! The wolf wants to eat me! Good. I 
built me a house with sticks of wood. A hungry wolf came prowling through the town, and he puffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Help, help! The wolf wants to eat us! The third little pig said, Who needs sticks? I built me a house with the very best bricks. A hungry wolf came prowling through the town, and he huffed and he puffed till he went quite red. He huffed and he puffed and he banged his head. He huffed and he puffed, then he growled and said, I'd rather make do with jam and bread, cause he couldn't blow the little house down. La-dee-da, la-dee-da, no he couldn't blow the little house down. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I haven't spoiled your wall. Come on, Pip... Pippin? Where's Pippin? I told her to stay by my side. Those building sites are such dangerous places. Auntie Mabel? Yes? We've got some bricks for you. Oh, thank you. And uh, something else that's yours, I think. Really? What's that? 